Disney on Ice Worlds of Fantasy is really the first time that we've incorporated really four diverse Disney worlds together. What we really wanted to do with Worlds of Fantasy is bring all these different favorite Disney classic stories to life on the ice. First of all, we have Cars, which every little boy absolutely loves. Lightning McQueen actually talks and slides around on the ice, and it is awesome. ka Then you get the greatest animated movie of all time. You get a piece of that, you get the music, you get the feeling. Just the reaction from the kids is just, it's deafening, it's so, so exciting. <laughs> little Mermaid is every young girl's favorite. It is a dream come true. What the message of Tinkerbell and the fairies is, is to be who you are and let your natural talents and your natural personality come out. And I think that's a wonderful message. It really starts about 18 months before a show ever opens. And it starts with a simple thing, an idea. We're really working very closely with Disney to figure out what is going to resonate with audiences across the world. What is the right idea and how do we express that? Kenneth, Feld, or Nicole will come and say, hey, what about doing this story? Is it possible? And my first reaction is, are you crazy? You can't do this on ice. And then they're never crazy. They always have something in mind. And so the challenge of going from some ridiculous, impossible idea and getting a whole creative team and saying, this is impossible, but we're gonna do it anyhow. It's kind of like a toboggan ride down a huge mountain. It's kind of a little bit out of control, uh, but you know eventually you're gonna to get to the bottom and everybody's gonna be all right. able to create a product that gives so much joy to so many people is very rewarding. And you see the reactions on the kids' faces and it makes it all worthwhile. <laughs>